Megan, we all know that networking is very important for job seekers. A lot of job, a lot of times, uh, through networking, we find uh, job seekers or candidates before even the job being posted. You know, you ask your circle who you know. That's what I got. That's what I how I got my first HR job. So, what tips you have for in terms of networking, especially nowadays that everyone is out. There's not much networking like in person. It's more like Zoom meetings, webinar events. So what can uh, job seekers do in this online networking days? Yeah, I think, you know, to, to reference our earlier conversation, once you've figured out what your values are, who you are, hopefully that brings you some level of confidence. And I know reaching out to people can be a little um, nerve wracking. I know lots of people, at least when we were in person networking, weren't huge fans of it. I always have been, but I love people and I love meeting new people <laughs> and I love learning their stories. So I'm always the one that I'll go to those things by myself just to meet some new people. But um, what I found in this virtual environment is really have some confidence and um, do your homework. So LinkedIn is a fabulous way. I can't tell you how many friends such as you um, and many others from all over the world that I've met and gotten to know better over the past year. And it's just been from reaching out and saying, hey, um, I thought this was interesting or I saw your post here or um, gosh, it's, you know, that's a great point of view. Yeah. Um, you know, bring some value, of course, to the conversation, but I found just by like connecting on LinkedIn, I've made a lot of really good connections. And I've also been very open to them as well. So if people are reaching out to me, again, being thoughtful, seeing how we can add value to each other, I'll, I'll generally accept that connection and, and that intro call even. Let's talk for a half hour. Let me see what's going on. And if I can offer any advice or help, I'm happy to do that. So, I mean, it's, it's the same thing that I, I advise like newer mentees mm -hmm. uh, who are getting mentored. It's really on you to drive that relationship. The mentor is there to offer advice and guidance, but you should be the one scheduling the meetings. You should be the one coming with the topics and the questions and really driving that relationship. It's the same thing for the job seeker, you know, reach out and don't just reach out when you need something, you know, yeah. reach out just to, to make those connections and start those conversations. And I feel that it's very important to add kind of a message when you're sending the re uh, re request, you know, I saw you in this webinar, I liked it, or you, you, you posted something or their uh, profile or something they're written, yeah, I like it, I want to want more. So that will help kind of break the ice, right? Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. That's exactly the way to do it. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Megan. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great question with Megan.